Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a survival possibles kit that I've put together and that I've been carrying for quite a while now, and I want to share it with you guys, so stick around. So we're in the man cave today, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to show this kit that I've put together and I've been carrying around in different bags that I have. Um, what the the concept of this kit is that is basically a possibles kit or a possibles pouch. Now that terminology, um, I believe, comes from the uh, the fur trapping era. Uh, the trappers would carry possibles bags or possibles pouches, and what that meant is that pouch or bag um, would have all the things that. Uh, would help them if something possibly came up. So the different possibilities of uh, being out in the field, a lot of times it was things that would um, sustain their flintlocks, uh, there would be uh, fire starting gear, things like that. So it, it's, um, it's a concept that has been around for a very long time. And now, of course, these days we call it a survival kit. Um, some people have dedicated fire kits. Um, but for me, having one pouch that has uh, a lot of different items in it that I can utilize when something comes up or when I need it, um, just makes it easy to kind of grab out of my pack and then start using it. So this is um, probably my favorite kit that I've ever put together. And I've put a lot of different ones together, a lot of different pouches and bags. i um, shown some of those in past videos. But this one keeps uh, coming back in my gear. I always end up grabbing it. I've refined it. I add stuff to it. I take stuff out of it. But I've really got it to a place um, where it's very uh, useful to me. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say that the things that I carry... Um, work for me. They may not work for you. There may be items that you feel that you need that are a little bit different and that's fine. Uh, this is just uh, a way of sharing what I'm doing and hopefully that gives you some ideas, especially if you're just starting out, of things that you could possibly carry in your survival or possibles pouch. All right, this is the pouch that I've been using and um, I believe this is the Maxpedition Beefy um, Organizer. Uh, Maxpedition came up with these organizer pouches years ago and they started with just a very small one and they've expanded that line into many different sizes and uh, I think this is called the Beefy. There's also I think even a bigger one called the Fatty. Um, I don't, uh, I'll put down captions or links to this stuff so you get an idea of what it actually is but but for me the size of this pouch is just about perfect it, it just it it's not too big it's not too small it's definitely goldilocks um, for me um, and it contains a lot of very useful items so right away um, it's a very robust um, cordura type material um, you've got webbing on the back, so in case you actually wanted to attach this to the outside of a pack, you could. So you've got that, that PALS Molly system. Uh, there's a nice grab handle, which makes it perfect uh, for going in haversacks and backpacks. Um, good quality YKK zippers, and then paracord pulls. Now on, on mine, I've added these... Uh, glow beads from Tough Possum Gear. Love these things. Um, have a bunch of them. They do a great job of glowing in the dark, holding a good glow for a long time, and that just helps you see your gear um, when it starts getting dark and identifying it. So, and also just it's a nice handle to grab onto with your fingers. So, makes it very easy for unzipping this. Now, on the outside of this, um, I've got a spork. This is from Wild Camping International. Uh, it's their titanium spork. It's, it's a nice size, not too large, and it fits in there perfectly. And then inside this mesh outer pocket, um, I keep uh, some reference cards. These are the knot tying cards. 
Um, these are great to have along, especially when you have other people in your group and you want to show them or teach them something. Um, you can obviously show them how to do you know, some of the basic knots. And it's also just a great refresher. Sometimes if you're just killing time, you want to figure out, oh, how do I tie that knot? I can't remember. Um, there it is. And it's just got all you know all the useful what I would consider bushcraft bushcrafting knots on this card. And then the other item I keep on the outside here is this is from Survival Resources, great website, a lot of different gear on there. But this is just a Fresnel lens, um, so um, obviously you can use it for magnifying when you're reading maps and things like that, but also for starting a fire. get to the inside and as you can see there is tons of organization um, with this pouch uh, nice heavy duty elastic webbing sewn in different sizes so you can fit a variety of items now starting over here we have the military issue can opener I think that's the p51 that is, that's an authentic U.S. Shelby company can opener. Another fantastic item that I have in all my kits, um, and I highly recommend it, um, is a fire bellows. Um, I'm sure you've seen me use this in other videos and seen other people use them. It's, not, it's definitely nothing earth shattering, but um, it really is a fantastic aid in starting a fire especially when um, it is marginal the wood is possibly damp um, you're just having trouble getting things going um, that extra air that you add um, into the fire that you blow in the fire really gets it going and can get a, a small fire to a roaring fire very quickly uh, another item that's always um, important carrying kits is a whistle um, even if you're not really um, looking to do active signaling, um, you know, you never know when something's going to happen where you maybe you would injure yourself and then you need to grab the whistle and call for help. This may, this may help with that. So I like to keep one on my kit. Of course, the good old fashioned Bic lighter, the old reliable, um, always have Bic lighters in all my kits, have multiples of them. And then a great thing to do, of course, is wrapping it in some Gorilla Tape. Um, the, this is the, the narrower kind, so I've got two uh, strips of that wrapped around here. So that's going to aid in repair. And another maintenance item that I like to carry is some type of ability to sharpen a knife. And um, I found this little buck steel and i don't even know if they make these anymore maybe they do maybe they don't but it's fantastic because um, it's a diamond plate but it's it has a very fine side and then a coarser side um, and the size of it is perfect uh, for touching up a knife blade in the field very easy to work with and it's thin and lightweight back here I've got a little Olight. This is a little Olight Elite. Um, it's just a triple triple A flash battery flashlight, um, but it's nice because when you have your kit open, having a little light in here, I don't have to dig out my headlamp or a flashlight. I've got this in here already, so it's it's a nice backup. That just tucks in there, and then back here, I've got um, a signal panel. Um, I actually got this from Five Call Survival Supply. Uh, I believe they sell these individually, but they also have them in kits. Um, it's a, I believe it's a military issue um, signal panel, but it's a very small one, very lightweight. Uh, doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, yeah, it's a panel marker survival aviation personal, and it's even got instructions on it. So nice lightweight item, and then of course more. Uh, Gorilla Tape, uh, this is the wider variety, and that's just wrapped around a credit card. And we've got a Fire Steel. 
Um, I, I did a review on this brand a while ago, and um, it's a really fantastic fire steel. This is from Firefast. Uh, they make several sizes. I believe this is the medium. They have a smaller one and they have a much larger one, but it's a really decent fire steel because it, it has a magnesium uh, back to it so you can um, do scrapings. And then of course you've got, you know, just a, a really quality ferro rod with a decent scraper and a nice lanyard on it that's actually long enough so you can reach. So you just keep that wrapped up. ready to go and tucked in there and that's actually that's a pretty new ferro rod I just uh, just added that one recently um, this is an interesting little item um, this is made by a custom knife maker named SAR um, or at least that was the name of the company it was the SAR knife company or knife uh, designer and what he did is he actually made this little uh, signaling mirror so it's kind of like a dog tag but it's reflective on one side and then you've got um, this light reflective uh, tab on it plus there is a sighting hole in it um, I'm not even sure if this if, if the SAR name is around anymore I've had this thing for a very long time um, and it's so small and lightweight it goes in my kit course with fire making you're going to want some kind of man-made tinder that's ready to go um, this is from black and white fire starter I've done um, a few reviews uh, of their stuff and they really make a nice product this is their discs uh, these are a, like a cotton material type disc that has a wax resin um, formula that's been soaked into it so you pull these out break them into pieces and you will get a fire going very quickly with these they work exceptionally well um, and it's nice because it's in a tin so it doesn't get all over my gear and then exotac uh, match safe this is the match cap xl and this is has the hidden woodsman logo on it of course, I think everybody is very familiar with the Exotac match cap. Um, and of course, these are the UCO uh, store matches. Fantastic matches. They do a great job of getting a fire going very quickly. And you can get them wet, and then uh, they will restart. So, multiple ways of starting a fire. Another very cool Exotac item um, that I don't see a lot of reviews on, but this is their, um, their lighter that they make. It's called the Titan Light. And what this is, is basically a Zippo lighter, but um, it is uh, sealed. So it does not leak. So like the old Zippos, of course, they only last like, you know, maybe a week if you fill them up. I've had this thing in my kit for months, and um, it is still lighting every single time. Uh, so you, it has a reservoir that you fill up with the lighter fluid, and then it's, of course, it has an O-ring built in there, so it seals it so it doesn't leak, that, li that liquid doesn't evaporate. Um, so it's a nice backup to the BIC, so if the BIC runs out, I've got the Exotac um, to get something going. And then last is this pouch back here. And what I've got here is a few different things. I've got uh, just a little bit of bank line on a spool card uh, just for emergency repairs um, or putting something together. Um, of course, the Ketodyne uh, MicroPure water purification tablets and then whirl bags that I can actually fill with water uh, the whirl packs and then put the put a tablet in let it set for I think it's like an hour or something like that to disinfect it but it's an it's a it's a backup to other water purification systems that I have um, but you know if I had to just grab 
this pouch and put this um, in my BDU pocket or in a small day pack, I could do that and it would have enough things in it that would actually sustain me, um, help me start a fire, keep me safe, uh, maintain things, build things. Um, it just has a variety of items that are highly useful when you're out bushcrafting or just throwing into your day pack if you're going hiking. All right, hopefully this was a useful video for you. Um, you know, there are tons of different things that you can put into these kinds of kits. Um, you really need to think about um, what are items that you're going to use uh, so you don't overpack. Um, maybe what you guys could do is, in the comments, uh, put down some things that you put in your possibles kits or your survival kits that you think are very useful. Um, it's always great to read the comments and see what other people come up with. Um, always different ideas. You know, there's a lot of things that aren't in here. Um, I don't have a fishing kit. I don't have wire. Um, I don't have a sewing kit. These are things that can potentially be added. Um, there is room for some of this stuff, but um, I try to keep it pretty basic um, and try to keep it to things that I, I know that I utilize um, when I'm out. So this is just one of my kits, but it is definitely one of my more go-to kits that I've been using. And um, it just gets thrown in my pack when I head out um, if it's not already there. So hopefully that helped you guys. Um, as always, uh, please check out the affiliate links down below. Check out the Facebook group. It is getting huge. Uh, go to preparedwanderer.com. There are articles on there from myself and some other writers uh, that, I, that I've been utilizing and, and I trust. Uh, links to videos and also to the web store that has uh, Prepared Wanderer patches and stickers. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.